Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. It is April. Epic has granted us new free assets this month. Let's take a look at them. Starting off, this month will be a little bit different because today Unreal Engine 5 was announced, which means that we have a little bit more than usual. But under our free for the month category here, we today have this VP Real Food and Coffee Bakery, Modular Concert Stage, Medieval Houses Modular and Low Poly Medieval Interior, and also our Modular Neighborhood Pack. This will be what's included in the, the monthly part. And in addition to that, we also have City Sample, City Sample Crowds and City Sample Buildings. This is all related, related to the Matrix Awakened demonstration that was released earlier. And in addition to all of that, oh, also don't forget we have the City Sample Vehicles also, that belongs to that as well. Uh, in addition to that, we also have the Lyra Starter Game here, which is a sample project where you can learn where they have set up a shooter game that runs with networking and also has things like the Epic Online Systems uh, being used in it. And I believe we also have one under Permanently Free, which is an Archvis, real-time Archvis asset pack of a bistro. Uh, so this is also available now from this month. So we have a lot of assets and start, let's start getting through them. First off, we have the cafe for coffee and bakery, the coffee bakery. This is a very cute, comfy little scene here with a lot of attention and detail put into it. I was actually looking through each of these individual assets here, seeing if any of them were clipping into each other or anything like that, but everything has been meticulously put in everywhere so that everything is looking like it's actually how it would look in the real world. So every single item here in this asset pack is something that you can make use of to create a very cozy uh, scene for a cafe. And yeah, it's pretty straightforward and pretty nice. Next up, we have the low poly medieval environment available and they have set up a total of nine different scenes just like this one, showing off how you can make use of their assets to put them together into something holistic and where everything is used together to make a certain feel come alive. Uh, the scenes are very nicely done and the pack looks pretty nice and gives a very cozy feeling as well. Here are all the individual assets that you have available in this pack. You can see there are a lot of shelves and bookcases, drawers, paintings, small knickknacks like vases and bottles and books and a lot of things to make out different types of wall structures inside and out, curtains, um, also some chests and some weapons. And yeah, so it's a, it's a pretty diverse, diverse small pack uh, to create something in this art style. Next up, we have the Medieval Houses Modular Volume 2 pack. And this one you can see is a little bit more realistic style than the low poly one is. It sort of resembles Viking houses a bit. And it's pretty high quality, it looks very good, high fidelity. And you see you can build at least a fair amount of variety out of the assets that you get in this pack. And here you have the overview map of all the individual assets that you have, so you can create the modular uh, houses that you want to create. So there is a fair number of decent, uh, decent fidelity objects here, and they have nice textures. And you have some examples, or not, not actually examples, these are actually going to be yeah, static meshes, these are. Uh, but I'm assuming that they have created them out of these basic building blocks. So you could actually recreate all of these things. 
Next up we have the modular concert stage pack and this pack uh, consists of three scenes of different uh, stages essentially where you have some of these modular assets that you then have them created from. Uh, so this is an example of what it could be looking like if you created it. And let's take a look at the overview. And here we have the overview map with all the different assets. Now you can pretty easily see that there are not that many available here, but uh, when it comes to scenes like stages, they don't tend to have a whole lot of different things. The, the base or the foundation of it is created out of very few objects. Then of course to make it come alive you, you get the scenes and all the embellishments and stuff like that. I do think that this pack is related to the, the DMX project that was released at some point. Um, so they might have something to do with each other. Maybe they complement each other. I'm not entirely sure. But that might be worth looking into if this is something that interests you as well. And you can find that under the learning tab I do believe. Next up we have the modular neighborhood pack and as you can see this is more of a contemporary suburban feel kind of it. Um, you can see we have things like swimming pools and one story, two story houses, there are some cor cars, uh, some foliage and some trees and a fairly decent looking uh, neighborhood here as well although with the coloration they do tend to look very samey but you could always change that up of course let's take a look at the overview so here we are in the overview map for this asset pack and you can immediately see that there is a considerable amount of modular pieces here that you can make use of Everything from the roof tiles to walls and exteriors and entrances, uh, also fences of different nature, garage doors, interior furniture and beds and whatnot. You also have a small assortment of cars and some porches and some uh, uh, pool uh, tiles as well and you also get some some small random uh, garbage collecting uh, items here as well and some hoops and stuff like that so yeah in addition to that you also have some different <clears throat> tiles for for different uh, roads so you can build out some roads uh, overall it has a fairly decent uh, amount of assets and with some coloration you could pretty easily make a neighborhood that looks uh, very organic and not very repetitive. Next up we have the packs related to the Matrix Awakening demo. This particular pack is the one that's related to the buildings obviously since you see that I have buildings on the screen. And you can see that there are a number of different buildings here. I do believe we have somewhere around uh, maybe one and a half dozen different buildings. And these buildings are, if you go and check it out, uh, blueprints. And if you look at them like this, they look a little bit weird. You have different parts here, which seems to be just like a lower floor. And the reason for all of this is that there were some challenges and some pretty creative and cool ways of how the people who created the Matrix demo approached building this whole city, making it both performance and high fidelity. And part of that was they procedurally generated buildings, making very smart decisions when it comes to breaking apart a building so that you could have different parts which would be uh, related to collision like the lower floors have high collision the upper floors do not have collision because you're not likely to interact with them they would uh, break uh, 
houses apart and have like corners and repetitive parts and entrances and have all of that procedurally generated so that it would look like a proper building uh, for a human to see and yet it gave them a lot of variety when it came to making um, a few building uh, starting assets into a whole lot of different uh, procedural uh, end assets essentially so yeah that's what that was all about and i will put a link in the description to the videos where they talked about this because it was a very interesting uh, lesson so if that's something that interests you then you might want to watch that as well last off we have the new sample project lyra and we're just going to be looking at this briefly for now we will be taking a bigger deep dive into it at some other point but for now uh, this is what you have so you have this character you can control to walk into these different portals which will do different things and you have some different game modes available like control for example and going into it you will load into a map and there will be bots running around and you can shoot them and dominate them with your third person awesomeness skill uh, so pretty nice project um, it for sure will be a trove of knowledge for people that are interested in multiplayer third-person shooters so yeah, this might be worth taking a look at if you want to do that uh, I will for sure be uh, jumping into this and doing a video on this a little bit more in depth to see what's going on under the hood uh, but yeah, for now, I think this is good enough. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.